Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Tour KSA with Prozeps. And this video was actually a coincidence because I wasn't supposed to film today. But regardless, here's a good example of why time flies at the drop of a hat. Because today, it's 2023 again, and we're back at my school filming the exhibition going on for science. So let's take a look at it, shall we? It's not only a science exhibition, we got the social science, arts and crafts, mathematics, and finally the science exhibition. So without further ado, let's hop inside and take a quick recap, and a quick recall, and a quick review of what's going on right behind the floor. Let's go ahead, shall we? Let's go! So excessive amount of thrust, yeah, okay. Of thrust, which made it lose connection towards the Earth's radar. Okay. And the third reason Interesting. Is, yeah. There wasn't enough space for the uh, lander to successfully land on the moon. Yeah. That's why it... Uh, it uh, okay, so what are you trying to say is the fact that due to the excessive amount of thrust, yeah. the rocket itself wasn't... It was not able to stabilize itself yeah, and, and hence crashed off. Yeah, that's why it crashed off. Nicely explained. That's amazing. All right, keep it up. Yeah. You built the whole thing on your own? Yeah. Okay, so what materials did you utilize? So, uh, we actually used a little bit of cardboard, okay. some soil paper, yeah. and we actually used a white powder and mix it with water, then we used this. In order to make the texture yeah, of the moon? Yeah. Exactly. That is amazing, man. That looks so realistic. Thank you. I gotta appreciate that. Looks Thank amazing. You. Top notch. Thank you. Good job, man. Keep it up. Thank you. Really appreciate it. My name is Mohammed Hamza Obed. Today, I have made a water purification system, which is natural. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Looks amazing. So you're purifying the water in there. So it's a process of filtration, right? You pour the water on top of that, it goes down. It's called a ballast stone, small stones, charcoals, and finally cotton, right? And finally, the water comes up here. That is fantastic. Yeah. That's chlorine? That's chlorine? Chlorine. Okay, so you perform chlorination as well. So you basically got the in-depth explanation of what purification of water can be, right? Yeah. Amazing job, buddy. Keep it up. Looks fantastic. Like, specifically when you compare this water with the end, you can take a look at a big, massive difference in the water texture. Look at that. So when you compare that with this, that's a big difference. Congratulations, buddy. You did a great job. All right? Keep it up. Hello, I'm Harini. This is my project, Rocket Science, and I have made here the model of Aditya Elbert. Okay. So, let me tell you how does a basic rocket works. A rocket works on the principle of action and reaction. In the rocket, the action of the force produced by the explosion of gas, smoke, and flames under the nozzle end. The reaction force propels the rocket in the other direction. True, true. So, Newton's law or the beginning of the rocket to work in the space. Yeah. Which exact law? The first law, the second law, the third law? Second and third law. Amazing. So, what's actually the major law affected here? Third or the second? second. When the rocket launches up? Uh, mostly the third law. 
Yeah. And what does the third lot say? On action as opposite reaction. Equal and opposite reaction. Yeah. That exact specific condition applies here, causing the rocket to elevate. Right? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. That's nicely created. Amazing. It got. It's actually got the in-depth structural design in there. It looks fantastic. All right, keep it up. Keep it up, keep working hard, and you'll succeed one day, okay? Good job. This is my project type of pollution. So let me start. This okay. Is factory pollution, factory pollution means air pollution. Yeah. It is releasing from the factory. Gases are releasing from the factory, yes? Yeah. Yeah. That gases will mix with air. Mm -hmm. And the air pollution from the yeah. pollution from the Okay. When we are breathing, mm -hmm. human beings are. Yeah. Breathing. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. True. Then the, uh, there are so many diseases like cancer. Yeah. Yeah, help. true. Respiratory diseases. Yeah, good. Next is uh, water pollution. Water pollution means the, from the factory, the uh, waste of dropping, yes? Uh huh. To the water, then the water becomes polluted. Yeah, true. When the animals are drinking the water, they also will die. Yeah. Humans also. Of even. Course. Now, one main, one main pollutant on the smoke is acid rain, right? One specific uh, result of this specific polluted gas is acid rain. It goes at the higher altitude, combines with, you know, basically uh, combines with water to form acid rain, which consists of sulfuric acid and nitric acid that goes down to the water and reduces the pH of water, killing the organisms underneath the water. Is that right? So that's what you're trying to say, right? Absolutely. Well said, buddy. Keep it up. Yes. Next is noise pollution. Noise uh -huh. pollution. The horn, the uh, sound of the horn, of yeah. the vehicles, True. the loudspeakers, True. music instruments. True. This is all caused to our ears. Yeah. This is us. Yep, absolutely. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Great job, because, man. Yes. We can't sleep even because it will affect yeah, our due the, ears. Due to the extreme amplitude of the sound, of increasing the loudness, yeah, probably yeah. above 80 decibels. Of That's course. the threshold which actually disturbs your ears, yeah. right? <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Nicely, keep it up, keep your job going, and keep working hard, all right? Keep hustling. You're doing a great job. What is your project about, buddy? Respiratory system. Okay, so you got the lungs in there, and what are these? This one. Right okay, left, so, left, okay, left. yeah, that's good, that's good. So you're basically supplying the air yes. using that pipe and basically demonstrating the physical explanation of the lungs, right? Good, amazing. Good job, keep it up, man. Okay. That's a good thing up there. So you made the whole thing on your own? Yes. Great, man. Fantastic. Two balloons. Yeah, they're basically imitating the functionality of the lungs, right? Good job, man. Good job. Keep it up. Today, I'm explaining in my project that is the extraction from a strawberry. So I'll show you practically. I'll show you practically and then I'll show you theoretically. So first, you have normal strawberries that you have in your we're going to use them to extract the DNA from it. First, it is a solution that is nothing but NaCl2, that is iodized salt, plus detergent. That is normal detergent that you use for washing your utensils. When you add them, it becomes a soft solution. You add them into the mashed strawberries, you have your mashed strawberries, and you add the soft solution into the strawberries. Then you get this strawberry soap solution. After you have you done with this, you're going to add the strawberry soap solution into a container. You're going to add ice cold methanol. That is nothing but single bond of carbon. This is the ice cold methanol. If I add this into this uh, strawberry soap solution, you can see the DNA right here. My precipitated DNA here. Uh, yes. This DNA after like four to five days, you can take it out. Become on a dry form, dry when it's the first solution dries, the DNA can extract the water and make your own tissues. So now I'll show you theoretically this is the first procedure that I did uh, for extracting my DNA. First, these are strawberries, I mashed them, added two spoons of detergent and one spoon of salt. Then I added them into the mashed strawberries, mixed them thoroughly together. Then you get I stained them and I got strawberries of solution. After that I added iced cold methanol. Then I obtain a um, DNA that, and then I can extract it after 5-6 hours. So this is, a, this is the chromosomes that we obtain from the DNA. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Well done. Can you explain your project? Yes. This project is about plastic rolls. 
Plastic rods are made out of plastic waste and bitum. First, the plastic waste are collected from various sources, mm -hmm. such as the plants and landfills, mm -hmm. and they are added into the shredder where they will be chopped up into uh, small pieces. After that, they will be mixed with hot bitum, which is around 170 degrees Celsius, which is then made into road tar. Which will, which will be laid down in the road. Okay. This, uh, this has been practiced in many countries, such as Japan, Canada. And FYI, me and my friend now shop. If you're watching this today, bro, you really gotta like and subscribe so that you can watch more of these videos. Come on, man. You guys gotta like and subscribe to my videos. Regardless, me and my friend now shop, we used to have a lot of memories in this class because I used to be here for a long, long time. So that's UKG8, this used to be UKGB, and there used to be like a border around here that basically divided these classes together. So we used to have a lot of fun, a lot of messing around, a lot of uh, flora to your whatnot. <laughs> you miss those days. I really miss those days. I, I actually really used to be a, I don't know, a naughty guy doing things, whatever. I don't care. Well, let's get outside and check out what's going on in here. Here, look at that. So is that a, like a, what is that about? A Palestine flag? Yes. Close to yeah. And then I painted uh, green, red, and black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These things you see, mm -hmm. these are black. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, that basically demonstrates what's going on in Palestine right now. Gaza, right? Amazing, man. And what's yours? Okay, amazing. You made this on your own? Yeah, I made this on my own. Good job, man. Keep it up. All right, that's it. Good class with a lot of projects in here, as you can see. We got these guys. <laughs> what's up? Yeah, sure. I want you to subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications bell on. So if I like post any future videos, you can surely watch them. All right, guys. All right. All right. So, what do you got? This is an angle clock. An angle clock. What's your name? Okay. So, can you demonstrate your project? This is 60 degrees, which is an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees, but more than one zero degrees. Yeah. So it's a mathematics project. Looks amazing. So you, be, you basically got an angling, angle measuring, angle measure up here that you're uh, utilizing that pointer to film. Okay, whatever. And keep going. Which is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Yes, that's true. Which is angle, which is 180 Yeah, that's true. 180 degrees over there. And 90 degrees is... Yeah, that's the right angle, yeah. True, true. And this is a reflex angle. Reflex, above uh, above 180 degrees, yeah. And less than 360 degrees. Sure, good, man. And that's a complete revolution, right? Full circle, 360 degrees. Amazing, man, keep it up. Looks like a pizza. <laughs> you love pizzas? Yes. I do as well. Everyone loves pizzas, right guys? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hello, so this is your art project? Yes. What's that about? This it's a butterfly? Yes, it's a leaf Oh, fantastic. So are these things like real? No. Okay, so you artificially put them on together. Amazing, man. Yeah, true, true, true. Good job, man. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Keep it up. And in the middle of the session, I've actually got one of my fans who got this really cute looking project. So what's that about? It's a, it's a fan that you, you know, like in that, uh, like continents like Africa, you yeah, know, all the poor yeah. countries. Okay. You can make it very easily. You can make yeah, it that's true. Fast. That's true. Yeah, it's, but you can make it very easily. It's simple. And also you can get, uh, the materials are very easy. And you can get them from anywhere. So it's very Amazing. What do you got? Guys, I have a butterfly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right. Good job. You built the whole thing on your own? Good job, keep it up, all right? That was fantastic. Nice, the whole life cycle of a, of a butterfly, right? Nice job, nice job, keep it up.
And what do we got here? Okay, so that's a diagram, physical diagram of the lungs, of the lungs. Good job, man. Can you explain them? Can you, uh, okay, so it's, you can wipe them up. Okay, looks good. Fantastic. So you can check out what's going on in the inside. You got the alveoli, the bronchioles, and etc. inside the lungs, right? That looks amazing. Yeah, good job. And you got the trachea on top of there. Okay. <laughs> good job. Good job. Keep it up. Good job, man. You built the whole thing on your own? Good job. It's amazing. How long did this take you to build? Five days. Okay, but that's that's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. The bronchioles up here, the trachea. Amazing. Amazing. Good job. Keep it up. Two, three, start. Hello, this is my name. Okay. So you got this giant project up here. It looks fantastic. All right, so can you explain that for me? Yeah. I made this project like this. It is one on off button. Uh huh, that's the switch. To the uh, negative connected mm -hmm. wire. It's your battery? Yeah, good job. So it's a 9 volt battery, okay. And it will be connected to the Yeah. Okay, so that's like a simple circuit diagram. Okay, good, good job, man. Like now? Okay, so you're gonna turn that on, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now guess the class teachers, but from the class. Okay, I'm gonna say uh, seven. Yeah. Yeah. So what am I gonna do? Uh, you need to guess the class teachers from here. Oh. So, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for Shannon Lester. Shannon Lester. Yeah. How many points? Okay. Tenth class. I'm gonna say. I don't know, shrimp, sir? No, it's two of these, madam. Two of those? Yeah. I'm gonna go for the first one, if I see that. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you can predict what I'm trying to say, huh? That is fantastic, man. Now, this one's a masterpiece, guys. This is like by far the best I've seen. This guy's got like the biggest, the most gigantic project I've ever seen. And he's got these really good quizzes going on about class teachers. That's amazing, man. <laughs> Good job. Like. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn notifications bell on. So if I like posting in future videos, you can surely watch them. All right, man. Yours is, yours is by far the best project I've seen. So what's your age? Uh, nine. Nine years old. And you built the whole thing on your, by yourself? No, yeah, with my parents. Uh, okay, with your parents. But regardless, that's a fantastic project. All right, yeah. keep it up. All right, man. Good job. So this is my project. Uh, it, it's about the solar system. Okay. The solar system is in the Milky Way. Yeah. And there is a star in, that is in the middle of the solar system. Yeah, and true. The sun. And, and there are eight planets orbiting the sun. Mercury, yeah. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, mm -hmm. Saturn, Amazing. Uranus, yep. and Neptune. Great. Right. So, you love it? You created this on your own? Yes, I made this. Yeah. You built these fairs on your own? No, no, I painted the paint. Great, they look amazing, okay? Specifically the paint on top of that. They look fantastic. Yeah, can you 
demonstrate the process of toxic precipitation with the water over there? So what exactly happens? Can you demonstrate what can you demonstrate what happens with the precipitation? You can see some toxic yeah, gas coming down from the clouds. How does the rain come yeah, out? Demonstrate that. The rain yeah. comes like this. Like, for example, the gases are coming. They grab the water yep. and eat the plants. So then they form into acid like that's nitric acid yeah. and nitric acid. So when the rain comes, into yeah, that's the more water, into yeah. the water body, both the soil and the water body becomes acidic yeah. and gets affected. So this is actually the whole story by the point yeah. of the bathroom. There you go. Finally, at the end of the exhibition, we're actually not inside the school any longer. We're actually in a restaurant, and it turns out we're here for dinner. And what exactly do we have? We've got this Arabian style foods up here. Firstly, you got this big, gigantic tray with this foil paper on top of there, this aluminum foil. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna like go ahead and remove these things off. You've got like a lot of mayonnaise in there and some of these Arabian style sauces that I'm gonna remove off and go ahead and take this off. All right, there you go. And we were actually revealed with these amazing looking kebabs. They're actually a pretty good category. Look at that. So we've got, we've got these breads in there and what the Arabians call as hubs. Look at that. So we got like two in my hands. Look at those. And we got these um, fries on top of the chicken. This is actually a chicken. No, they're actually kebabs, individual kebabs with fries on top of them. And um, here I've actually got this really, really exclusive looking lasagna. It's actually an Italian dish, but this is called the Arabian style lasagna. It's actually a little bit different, a lot more tastier than the Italian style lasagna. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> And finally, the good old no, Arabian kunafa. Look at that. That's actually a Nutella kunafa with chocolate inside there. And this thing is, this thing actually tastes amazing. Won't believe it, but it's actually pretty good. Covered it, covered it. So, yeah, this pretty good. Salad. And finally, we've got this Arabian style salad. Look at that. So, we've got this um, category of salads in there. And this in here is the good old hummus with some salsas in there, some Arabian style sauce, and along with some vegetables in there, basically making a good variety and a good category of salads inside that box. But regardless, look, regardless, let's hop inside and start eating these guys up, shall we? All right. All right, guys, as you can see, this is what you call 100% Arabian style luxury in the restaurants because you don't get any tables for yourself. You actually get this gigantic rectangular room with this luxury carpet in which you can literally sleep for 24 hours straight. Trust me, these things are good for sleeping on. And on top of that, this is what you call the Arabian style luxury as I've said before. And um, by this, this was the end of the video. If you did like the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications bell on. So if I like posting future videos, you can surely watch them. And on top of that, hello, alayah, shabab, so long, salam alaikum.